Conway Stewart's apartment is going to stay sealed until the trial is over. So just get a good book and sit down and read it, okay? Goodbye. How's Max blood pressure? Mm -hmm. oh, that's what I was afraid of. I just can't wait till this whole thing. The whole trial is over and Paul is cleared. Yeah, me too. Hey, Claire called this morning, said Harold's being a real pussycat. Ooh. Said to send his best to you and Adam. It's hard to believe that it was just yesterday that we came back from Kentucky. Yeah, it is hard to believe. Well, I guess I'll go wash up, then I'll call Barbara. Harold just went to the men's room. He'll be back in a minute. So I hear you were a big success in Alba. Well, I guess uh, Harold seemed better by having seen Adam. You know, it just amazes me how you always managed to turn this hellish situation we're living to your own advantage. You know what? I know you're nervous because of the trial today, so why don't we just postpone this little conversation? Well, Margo, you may enjoy playing the big heroine for Hal and his father, but I saw what Tom was going through while you were in Kentucky with Adam. And if you care anything about your own marriage, you'd better start concentrating on your husband and put my husband in a son that you share. I don't need burner. your advice about my marriage. No. Marco's the expert on everything. Oh, hi, hon. I was just about to call you, see about picking you and Paul up. Uh, well, that's rather impossible. Paul wanted to talk to Emily before the trial. I feel really weird throwing you guys out of your own apartment. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. My dad wants me to drop by Memorial anyway. Yeah, I got some errands to run, too. <clears throat> well, I really appreciate it. It's okay. No problem. Hey, good luck today. Thanks. See you at the courthouse. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi, Emily. Good luck. Just tell him not to worry about it. He's going to get off. Uh, Thanks for meeting me here. Of course. I just hope that Andy doesn't suspect anything. No, Andy just thinks that we're good friends, that's all. We are good friends. I know, but... No buts. Look, we may have spent a night together. A night that nobody can find out about. And Paul, we have to remember no matter what, we can't let the truth come out about the letters we burned at the trial, okay? Yeah, I know. You didn't tell Andy the truth, did no, you? No, of course not. I promised you I wouldn't, and I never will. And I know that you won't tell anybody either. Brock, please. Don't ever let Paul know I told you. Well, neither of you seem hysterical, so I guess the wedding gown fit. Oh, perfectly. I think I'm going to check on the children. I think I'm going oh. to check on the children. <laughs> It's worth it, Shannon. Trust me. What? Marriage. It's worth it. Oh. All this terror. <laughs> and if you think you're nervous, consider the fact that I'm giving you away and standing up and talking at the same time. <laughs> you know what? I have never seen a man more in love than Duncan. He's been on the phone to us every day for weeks. Settling plans for the ceremony and making sure everything's perfect by 7 o'clock tonight. Yeah, but a perfect ceremony doesn't always guarantee a perfect marriage. Well, I have to agree with you there. I mean, I seem to recall that we had a perfect ceremony planned a couple of years ago until you realized that I was falling in love with Beatrice. Yeah, but that's exactly my point. You see, we could have made a terrible mistake, and how do I know that I'm not making a terrible mistake now? Well, because we, we, you're surrounded by friends who love you, we wouldn't let that happen. And besides, you and Duncan truly belong together. Shannon? Wait a minute. Uh, Sh Shannon? 